1998 Lotus Esprit V8 GT, so that's the 3.5 litre V8 twin turbo car in silver, comes with the registration that's on there. The current vendor informs that the car was running fine, it's now not, we can't we get the immobiliser to come off it either. So it's obviously been off the road for a couple of years, which you can sort of see as we get around the bodywork. Uh, you cheap way into a, a Lotus V8 twin turbo, that's for sure. So bodywork wise, and start off the bodywork, our way around this Lotus onto the interior, we'll have a look at the engine and things like that, but at this minute in time, it's currently a non-runner. We will be selling it as a non-runner. So at the bonnet itself, we have got some haziness and some flat to the paint, to the silver side of things. Obviously, you had some paint work in places over the years. Bit of a crack down here and some heavy scratching on the nose cone there, but the bonnet, the bonnet itself is flat on the paint side of things. Just come down the right, the left-hand side there again. We've got a crack there on the left-hand side. The bumper itself, a little bit of scuff on the corner there. As you come across the front, you'll see this is actually looks worse than it is. What this is is this PPF that's sort of discoloured over the years. You can see that across the front of the nose there. The lower half of the splitter has got some scuff scrapes and some bits missing out of it. Worst bit on the right hand side there. But again, that is the PPF there that sort of failed around the front bumper there. So it's not as bad as it actually is. As we come round, we'll look inside here as well. James has got that up there, so you can have a look in there. As we work our way around, the hinges are a little bit soft on that. You can see there's a little bit of repair inside there as well. The driver's wing itself there you can see some sand and marks sorry excuse my dirty hands there we've been pushing cars all over this morning um there's a little bit of haze and some sand and marks on that right hand side front wing there so come back a little bit of crack on the lower half there bit of a crack on the sill cover and the, some crazing to the front of that right hand side door with some paint free around the indicator there rest of the door's not too bad wing where caps crack free mm -hmm. Glass is all nice and clear down that left uh, right hand side. Front windscreen's got a little bit of moisture in. A tiny little crack on the corner, which you just noticed in the right light there on the left hand side. Roof itself's all okay with some engraved dirt across the roof there. As you come down again, you'll see some repair work there above the pillar. And down the front section on the rear quarter. Side skirt, you can see again the PPF's gone yellow and flaky around the event there. Around the arch, all okay in the quarter. There was various marks to the paintwork here and there. But all quite presentable down that rear quarter. As you come to the back bumper again, all okay again. We've got PPF on both sides, it's gone black there. Across the back bumper itself, no big scuffs or scrapes or heavy crazing on the back bumper. Around the lights, all nice and tidy. As you come up into that lower spoiler section there, we've got a little bit of bubbling and some paint fleet across that there and some moisture in the top spoiler there you'll see where the heads come off the paint they've got some bubbling in the on the spoiler there engine compartment itself again a few little bubbles here where the heads come off them as well just a bit of moisture in there the rest of it all nice and tidy no heavy cracking across the engine cover either coming round and down that left hand side rear quarters all okay again some engraved dirt we have got a scuff on the plastic arch there on the left hand side and some pain flake, a little bit of a crazing mark there towards the back. Coming forward and down that left hand side quarter there. Looks to be all okay, a few marks here and there in the paint and a few stone chips. Side skirt seems to be in good order. Coming forward on the left hand side door, got a bit of a mark up of the handle. Around the back of the door, no big chips, no heavy crazing at all on the left hand side. Coming forward you'll see the indicator is missing and the wing has been what I can only describe as sort of rattle can painted at some point in its life. It's a different colour silver flat across the bonnet in the front end there. Obviously had some paint work at some point, but it is the 3.5 litre V8 twin turbo car. James is just putting the battery booster pack on there so we can get the mileage up. We've got ignition and things like that. We just soon can't see if we get the uh, silly immobiliser off. Not giving me anything on the screen. Not showing you any of the mileage on the screen. We're trying to get that. James will detail that once we're trying to get that on. Interior wise, black leather, a little bit of weight of the piping into the bolster there with a little bit of a split on the lower half there. Door card itself all nice and tidy. The rest of the seats all nice and clean. Steering wheel seems to be good. No cracks in the dashboard there. And nice and tidy down that centre console there. No cracks to the plastics at all in there. The engine compartment. I will lift this section up there so we can have a good look in the engine. You can't really see a lot in there. Onto that left hand side front and again the door card itself nice and tidy. No rips or tears. 
the seat itself, a little bit of wear on the lower half bolster, but all nice and tidy again across there. Headlining's all good as well. All nice and straight across the dashboard. Interior's in really nice condition, apart from a little bit of wear to the driver's seat. Now you have it, the 1998 Lotus Esprit GT 3.5 V8 twin turbo car. Needs a bit of love and places. Actually, the vendor said it was running fine uh, and it was left uh, somewhere else for a while. Uh, and it came here as a non runner. He thought it was running by the time the delivery driver got it here, was in non running state. So please bear that in mind. Any further information, give us a ring, James. We'll detail it all on the, on the website there.